Hello, hello, I'm DJ Carlos and this is web class number six. So let's start the class and let's talk about internet today. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> so let's start. Internet slang words. Slang in Portuguese, gire, okay? Uh, we have slangs in Portuguese. Do you have? Yes or no? Yes, we do. For example, here in Pará, uh, we have different slangs. Okay? For example, ali no canto. Uh, what else? Get down, get down. It's tia coca. Okay? And we also have agua. Okay? But there are different uh, words and different slang words uh, for each situation, okay? But, in this case, today let's talk about internet. For example, I have the most famous, in my opinion, of course, the most famous slang word is OMG. OMG, it means, oh my god, it's oh my god, oh my god. It's like, it's most uh, impressive, shock, yes, it's, oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's a surprise, oh my god, and, oh my god, it's to demonstrate surprise, because you are impressed, okay, you are shocked, in this case, you have here, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, OMG, right? But in, and remember, we are talking about internet slang word. So, in this case, when you are using the internet, when you are surfing on the internet, you usually, uh, you usually talk like that, okay? Example on WhatsApp. Yes, here we have você in Portuguese. Você. Some people like to use VC. Okay? Vocês. V. Seis. Okay? It means slang words. Okay? But in this case, slang words are on the internet. Right? Let's move. Internet slang words. We have here Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we also have WhatsApp. Okay? Law. Laughing all loud. Laugh out loud. It's when you, when you are, example, what means. Okay? What videos on YouTube. And they are, they are pretty funny. They are really funny. And you laugh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's low, okay? Low. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. It means thank you. Thanks. PPL. PPL. People. People. Or. Or. Example. You are a student, okay? You. You, sis, see you soon, bye bye. Okay, sis, S Y S, see you soon, right? So, in this case, internet slang words are really, really common. Okay, and like in Portuguese, American people they like to use it a lot. Okay. Example, when you are chatting online, okay, when you are using your smartphone to chat, okay, on WhatsApp, on Instagram, Facebook, okay, Twitter, they like to use slang words, okay? So, in this case, let's open student's book. Right? Because today it's reading. Let's read together. 
Look, in this case, the children they are chatting, chatting, okay, online. It's a WhatsApp group, okay. So let's read. Ben, hello guys. I'm in trouble. Trouble means problem in English. Joe, what's the problem, buddy? Why are you in trouble? Ben, my room is a mess. Do you remember mess? Bagunça. I didn't clean it yesterday. Now I'm grounded. Mom said I can go to your house today, Joe. I'm sorry. Why didn't you clean your room? You know, I'm lazy. Like lazy. Eu sou preguiçoso. I'm lazy. I didn't want to. I have an idea. What is it, Lisa? Why don't we go to your house and help you clean your bedroom? Can you go to Ben's house now, Joe? Yes, I can. Thank you, Lisa. I can help too. Emoji. Sis, oh, see you soon. Bye bye. Okay? A few minutes later. Look. Ben. It's really messy, messy, it's not organized. Yes, and I can't find my new shoes and my books in this mess. We will have to work a lot. If we work together, we can finish it fast. Polly, put the socks in the drawer. Please, I will put the books in the bookcase, right? Ben, your English book is under the bed. Thank you, Joe. I have to do my homework. Guys, thank you very much. Now my room is clean and I can find my things. Emoji, 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 okay? In this case, the story was about Ben's bedroom, okay? Ben ba Ben's bedroom was a mess, okay? Was a messy bedroom. And his friends, in this case, Joe, Lisa, and Polly, helped Ben to organize, to clean the bedroom, okay? In this case, this was the story, right? Let's move. Let's talk about it. That's number one. Circle the incorrect words. Circle, okay? Circle the incorrect words. Then say and write the correct word. Let's go. Letter A, B, C, and D. Ben sends an email to his friends. Email, is it correct? So, in this case, the example is This is the incorrect email was, Wasn't an email, was a message Yes, they were chatting on WhatsApp Okay, they were having a conversation online So, circle email And you can write here uh, message, okay, message. So, and you must find the incorrect word, circle, and write the correct one, okay? N task number two, discuss. Do you have to clean your room? Why and why not? How often do you clean it? Do your parents have to ask you to clean your room? Example, your mother or your father, they have to say, Hey, clean up your bedroom. Now, let's go, let's go. Are you lazy? Example, are you lazy, preguiçoso? Are you? Yes or no? Is it important to be organized? Example, is it important to be organized? Example, I like to be organized because I like to find my things. Okay? 
What kind of problems did Ben have because of his disorganization? Example, if I'm not organized, I have to look for my things. Example, what is my what is my phone? What is my video game? What is my Nintendo DS? What is it? Oh my god, I can't find. Oh my OMG, okay? Uh, are you organized? Do you think parents should punish their children when they have to do their house chores? Why not? Example, uh, Ben, uh, ben is, is lazy, okay? So he was grounded. De castigo. Do you agree? Is it correct or incorrect? Have you ever been punished? Why? Example, when I was a children, when I was a child, sorry, when I was a child, I was lazy and my mother told me, you are grounded, okay? You can play soccer, you can play video game, okay? Now, organize your bedroom, now! And I had to organize it, okay? Next page, integrating personal development, task number one. Did you know that organization can make your physical and mental health better? How organized are you? Answer the questions. Letter A, my rucksack, my backpack, okay, my backpack. Your school bag, is it messy or organized? B. Where do you, sorry, where do, sorry, <laughs> where do you do your homework? Anywhere in front of the TV, at the desk or table, on the sofa. Example, I like to study at the desk or table, in front of the TV, but I I can't study and watch TV, okay? Let us see. When do you do your homework? Usually, at the same time and place, at different times and place. For example, do you have uh, a specific time to do, have, to do your homework? For example, ah, it's 4 p.m. It's time to study. Time to study. Okay, let's study. C, sorry, D, sorry. When it's time for homework, I have everything that I need. I have to look for the things that I need. Example, when you have to sit down and do your homework, is it everything okay or no? You have to stand up, look for a pencil, look for a pencil case, your book. So, in this case, check the option. E. When I do homework, I get distracted easily. I'm focused. I'm focused. Okay? F. When I finish my homework, I check it for mistakes. I put it in my school bag. Example, when you finish, do you, do you check your homework? Like, hmm, let me check it. Yeah, this is correct. Oops, no, this is not correct. Let's go back and do it one more time. Yes or no? Number two, test number two. Now check what your answers say about you. If your answer messy, think about it. It's important that you can find what you need when you need it. B. If you are organized, you check it at the desk or table. If you are organized, you usually do your homework at the same time and place. It's good to have the right place to do homework. If you are organized, you have everything that you need. It shows that you are organized for homework and it help you, helps you finish it more quickly.
E if you are focused, you will get more work done and you can train your brain in this way. Both steps are important when you finish your homework. Okay? Now, let's go to writing journal. Okay? Writing journal. Sorry, uh, e, eu, eu estou um pouquinho com alergia. Então, eu de vez em quando posso estar tá incomodando, tá bom? Peço desculpas, é, é somente alergia. Bom, vamos voltar para a atividade. Unit 3, texting. Number 1, read the text message between Lisa and Ben. Match the abbreviations to their, main, to their meanings. Look, so in this case, read the conversation, ok? You must read the conversation and you must check here the meaning. Example, or, do you remember or? Or é o R, tá bom? Or, R. Example here, XOXO, it means kisses and hugs, ok? It's like to say bye-bye, ok? XOXO. Kisses. Hugs. Ok? This is the homework, ok? Esse aqui já é o, o nosso dever de casa, tá bom? Você já vai fazer. Number two. Read the message again. Answer the questions. Who started the chatting? Quem começou aí a conversar? Quem foi que mandou a primeira mensagem? Ok? Who started the chatting why did lisa text ben why didn't ben go to school what's the problem what will mrs carter give students tomorrow what pages do they have to study for the quiz is lisa a nice classmate why rewrite lisa and ben's message translate it into English, ok? Então você vai reescrever aí a mensagem deles dois, tá bom? Oh, sorry. Você vai reescrever essa mensagem sem usar as abreviações, sem usar os slangs, ok? Então você vai pegar aqui as traduções que você fez, né? As translations, ok? E você vai reescrever a mensagem de forma que ela esteja... Uh, na linguagem formal, não informal, tá bom? Formal é sem essas abreviações. Number four, now write a message to your friend using some of the abbreviations in one. Você vai escolher um amigo, tá bom? Você vai escolher um amigo e você vai escrever é, uma mensagem, tá bom? Pode ser qualquer mensagem, pode ser desejando feliz Páscoa, uma boa semana, que ele esteja bem. Em inglês... Utilizando as abbreviations, você já aprendeu aqui algumas abbreviations. Se você não sabe, por exemplo, no problem, no problem, ok? XOXO, kisses and hugs, ok? Então aí você vai utilizando eh, essas abreviações para escrever uma mensagem. Number five, exchange message with your classmates. Translate his or her message in English. Essa daqui você precisaria ter alguém tá bom com você, para que você possa traduzir a mensagem. Aí o que, que eu vou fazer? Quando vocês me enviarem em anexo as atividades, eu vou estar tá enviando e você vai fazer a tradução posteriormente. Bom, let's go back here. E o homework foi esse que eu acabei de explicar. Era no The Bridge, é no The Bridge, página 15 e página 16. Entregue resolução fica para o dia 17 de 4 de 2020, ou seja, na sexta-feira, tá bom? Deixa eu anunciar aqui, a gente vai fazer uma segunda live, a gente vai fazer a nossa segunda live na quarta-feira, dia 15, tá bom? Então, quarta-feira, dia 15, naquele mesmo horário, às 11 da manhã, vou mandar o um link em torno de 15 a 10 minutos antes, vai ser no YouTube, e a gente vai fazer a nossa segunda live. Nós vamos jogar Minecraft, nós vamos jogar Kahoot, e também nós vamos estudar sobre mobília, tá bom? Sobre casas e as prepositions of place. Então, aguardo vocês na quarta-feira para a nossa segunda live. Fica atento, tá bom? Agora, nossas aulas são toda segunda, quarta e sexta-feira. É a resolução e entrega de todas as atividades que nós estamos fazendo durante este período. Espero que vocês 
Estejam muito bem. Sinto muita saudade. Tá? Fiquem bem. That's it. See you soon. Bye, bye.